The megalithic site of Gornaya Shoria is undoubtedly one of, if not the most incredible ancient site on Earth. Found upon the Shoria Mountains in southern Siberia, it is a place that has long been argued by influential academics and funded geologists as merely being a natural formation, which, simply by chance, appears to have once been an artificially constructed site. The reason for this denial of any artificial origins is unquestionably due to the size of some of the stones which make up the site, with the heaviest that academics have noted reaching far into several thousand tons in weight. This would make it the largest megalithic site discovered in the world if one could find any compelling evidence of the site once having an artificially constructed origin. Additionally, if proved to have an artificial origin, the erosion present on such enormous blocks would be indicative of a civilization which existed many, many millennia ago. Russian media, along with many other funded outlets and institutions, by default, have to deny that these stones could ever have been created via artificial means. This is due to the long-attested timeline for man, and the subsequent protection of the true past of our species, a timeline which spans much further into the past than currently claimed, one which I am systematically uncovering upon my channel. Popular news outlets have regularly presented articles written by Russian scientists who, predictably, concluded that this rock formation be the result of geological processes associated with the intense weathering of the rock, comprising Mount Inshoria. Both tectonic forces acting on deeply buried bedrock and pressure release that occurs within near-surface bedrock uplifted the eroded stones, which they claim that this supposedly commonly forms rectangular block-like rock formations that consist of jointed rocks. However, as the site has become more and more well-known, within circles not bound by the chains of mainstream academic funding, and thus free to investigate the idea of the area indeed once having been artificially created, evidence of this incredible reality. Compelling characteristics of this ancient site has recently been discovered which I feel is overwhelming evidence of the site indeed once having been an ancient settlement. This reality, although simply impossible for any loyal academic to admit to, is one that these recently discovered stones proves beyond doubt not only were these stones clearly cut using lost ancient stone cutting technology, but has left a signature mark upon the stone, uncannily similar to that in which I have named the Cyclopean civilization. These same signature tool marks can be found upon the unfinished obelisk of Aswan, Egypt, and also the most important link I feel I have ever researched, Basda Caves, which has not only been academically admitted as the ancient quarry for the stones of Haran, but due to the most peculiar design of these blocks, has enabled me to link the site to not only Gornaya Shoria, but countless other seemingly impossible, as yet unexplained, ancient ruins all over the globe. These blocks found at the site are not only of an enormous scale, but are undoubtedly artificially cut using some form of stone-cutting technology created by a lost civilization. These stones, I feel, not only prove the site's artificial origins, but due to the pattern left by the tools which work them into the shape that they are today, was built by the same civilization responsible for Baalbek, which also contains stones which are well over a thousand tons in weight, the unfinished obelisk, which is also well over a thousand tons. Yet this site is unquestionably now the largest currently recognized to still be in existence here upon our planet, with only the megaliths of Yangshan Quarry that unfortunately were left unliberated topping them in weight, with the largest at the quarry reaching far over the 16,000 tons mark. Yet the site has still not been fully explored, so there is a high chance that some of the stone in Gornaya Shoria may even top that of the blocks of Yangshan Quarry. These stones are unquestionably an incredible valuable find, and regardless of academia's deliberate ignorance in regards to such discoveries, 
has finally vindicated all those claimed as fringe researchers, as having been right on the money with their astonishing claims of it once having been man-made, a claim now proven to be a reality. Not only is Gornaya Shoria one of the most incredible sights on Earth, but it is unquestionably highly compelling. If you enjoy our content, if you think our battle worthy, please help us to continue our voyage of discovery in unraveling the mysteries of history. Links to donate can be found within the description. Without you, we cannot survive. Thank you. We recently shared some compelling evidence, suggesting that a number of megalithic sites dotted all around the world are far older than the civilizations claimed as the builders. It seems that as modern academia has gained a stranglehold on the education of mankind, it has willfully ignored, and in some cases suppressed, the truth regarding many unexplained ancient ruins found all over Earth. The pregnant woman of Baalbek, for example, a megalithic stone many attribute as the largest ever man-moved stone. And although many stones slightly lighter can be found effortlessly placed within ancient structures everywhere, academia stresses that it couldn't be moved any further. The same can be seen with Yangshan Quarry in China, home to the largest known cut megalith in the world. Again, academia suggests that this stone was abandoned due to its size, completely ignoring the enigmatic notches indicating that the entire shape of these enormous rocks had actually been carved prior to their attempted liberation from the bedrock. They insisted that it was abandoned suddenly, not due to unknown circumstances, but due to them not able to move them. And although the ancient Egyptians, and better known, seagoing Romans themselves, claimed ownership to many of these perplexing structures, and clearly displaying a severe level of erosion, there are some sites coming to light which have seemingly been left to the eons, never again being claimed as another's work. Deep within the southern wildernesses of Siberia lies the mountain of Shoria. Rarely visited by humans, and even less frequently studied, this remote mountain, however, was a few years ago discovered to be the home of something astonishing. Now known as the Gornaya Shoria megaliths, their truly astonishing enormity has made it hard for certain fields of study to even give this place a second glance, and although some of the structure now revealed to the world through photographs clearly shows that these remarkable stone walls have indeed an artificial origin, the few funded individuals who have looked at the site have still somehow had the audacity to claim that it is nothing more than a geological formation. Made with stone bricks many times larger than the stone of the pregnant woman, and with them reaching high up into the heavens far above the tree lines, one has to wonder who could have built this cyclopean wall? When did they build it? How did they build it? Where did such enormous stones come from? With such enormous structural blocks, it is no surprise that this mind-boggling structure has survived the tests of time. A remarkable location, one which needs serious archaeological explorations in search of remains, so we may one day ascertain the true builders of this amazing place.